Hi. Now in the last part of this question, we're given that the probability of x is less than 8 thirds equals the probability of y being less than 8 thirds. And we've got to find the value of a. And what I've done here is I've just sketched our probability density functions for the random variable x and the random variable y. Now, if this is part that you'd like to have a go at, give you a moment then just to pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution and mine. Okay, so let's see how you got on if you approach this. Well, first of all, I'm going to mark on eight thirds on our diagram here. Eight thirds is going to be, say, somewhere around here. It doesn't really have to be absolutely accurate, but uh, we just say then that's the point eight thirds here and the point eight thirds on this diagram not too sure where it is because I don't know the value of a but let's just say we just put it say about there so that's going to be our value eight thirds I'm assuming it's a value um, that's going to be between a and 4a but what we're saying essentially is that the area to the left of eight thirds for x, that represents the probability, is exactly the same as the area to the left of 8 thirds in this diagram here for y. And it's that that uh, we can work on because if we now work out this area, okay, we've therefore got the length here, that's going to be the difference between 8 thirds and minus 4. So I'm just going to say 8 thirds minus minus 4, that will give us that length, multiplied by this height, which is 1 tenth, we found that out earlier, and that must equal this area here, which is the difference between 8 thirds and A, so we've got 8 thirds minus A, that will give us the length across the bottom, multiplied by the height here, which is 1 over 3A. So it's just a question of solving this equation. So there's way, many ways I'm sure that we can do this, but uh, if we work out 8 thirds minus minus 4 and multiply it by a tenth, that's going to give us 2 thirds. So we've got 2 thirds here. And if we were to multiply, say, through by the 1 over 3a to each of these terms, this is going to give us 8 over 9a and then minus and we've got minus a times 1 over 3a well that's just going to give us one third the a's cancel and I can see that if I add one third to both sides two thirds plus one third is going to give me one and that's going to equal 8 over 9a multiply both sides by 9a and you get 9a equals 8 and now divide both sides by 9 and you end up with a equaling eight ninths. All right.